Hi again, everyone. This is going to be a walkthrough of the full muscle man for Bio 137 at BCTC. And um, unfortunately, this model is pretty small. So there are going to be some uh, of the muscles that you need to know on this model that I'm not actually going to cover in this video. Um, for example, some of the facial muscles like the zygomaticus. Uh, it's just too small for me to really point out in this video, but they are covered in, uh, for example, the zygomaticus is covered in the facial muscles video. Some of the arm muscles are covered in the arm muscle video and the leg muscles are covered in the leg muscle video. So I will hit most of the muscles that you need to know on this model, but not every single one. Just know in your lab manual, if it is one of the muscles that has a number pointing to it or attached to it, it is a muscle that you need to know on this model. So let's go ahead and see some of the muscles that we need to know um, here on the head, some that are big enough to see. Right here is that frontalis muscle. Here at the back of the jaw is the masseter. And around the eye is the orbicularis oculi. Around the mouth is the orbicularis oris. And coming down the side of the neck uh, from just behind the ear down to the top of the sternum, this is the sternocleidomastoid. Moving on to the arms and shoulders, uh, right here covering each shoulder is the deltoid. Here at the upper arm, we see the biceps brachii, and remember you must say the full name, biceps brachii. And behind that, we can see a little bit of the triceps brachii on the left arm here. And over here on the right arm, we can see the triceps brachii there and the biceps brachii there. Now down once we get into the trunk area, it's easier to point out the muscles that we're looking for. So on the chest on each side, we've got the pectoralis major. Now it's gonna be tempting to call those the pecs. That's what we hear when we're talking about uh, exercises, but you must say the full name. These are the pectoralis major. There is one on each side. Coming down the side of the trunk. Right here, this is the external oblique. And then these muscles right here, which we often will hear called uh, the six pack, those are the rectus abdominis muscles. Rectus abdominis. Down into the legs, again, it's gonna to get to a, uh, the spot where they're kind of a little too small to point out, but let's see which ones we can see. Uh, right here, right on front, we can see the rectus femoris muscle. Here kind of wrapping around is the sartorius. We can see that on each side. We can see the vastus medialis of each leg. We can see the vastus lateralis here on his left leg. Uh, what else can we see? We can see the adductor longus muscle right here and right here. Um, down in the lower leg, we can see the gastrocnemius. We can see uh, right here the tibialis anterior on each leg. And I believe that's all that we can really clearly see on this view. So let's flip him around and look at the muscles on the back. All right, now here on the back, uh, we can, again, up in the arms, we can see the triceps brachii. Here on the side of the face, we can see the masseter and just a small portion of that sternocleidomastoid. We can see the deltoids on each side. But now we can see some of the muscles of the back. Uh, we see here on each side of the back, we can see the trapezius muscle. Don't just call them traps. These are the trapezius muscles. Down a little lower on the 
side and the lower back here, we see the latissimus dorsi. Don't just call them lats. These are the latissimus dorsi. Down here, each butt cheek, this is the gluteus maximus. Here on the outside, the lateral portion of the back of each thigh. This is the other bicep. This is the biceps femoris. So that's why we can't just say bicep. That's the biceps femoris. Down along the uh, lateral portion of the lower leg. This is the fibularis longus, or also known as the peroneus longus. We can see each gastrocnemius very clearly here. And I believe that's all that we can really clearly see from this view. So now also keep in mind, in addition to knowing the names of those muscles, you also have to know the functions of all of the, all of the muscles that we've named. You cannot just say moves arm or moves leg. You have to be specific. Flexes, abducts, adducts, rotates. You have to be specific. All right, take care and let me know if you have any questions.